but I've been seeing a lot of posts on the Gears forum, on the Gears subreddit, on the Gears Facebook page, if that's even an official Facebook page. Just a metric fuck ton of people saying that they're done with not only Gears of War, but done with Xbox just because of the fact that they have supply drops now. It honestly eats at my craw every single time people say something like this. It's probably the single most stupidest thing anybody has ever said. If you're gonna be so entitled that not being able to unlock certain characters is gonna make you not, not only stop playing a game, but just stop playing a console, I'm sorry, but you're stu you're absolutely stupid. Am I seriously the only person that remembers Gears 1, the original Gears of War? Am I the only one that remembers that there was no unlocks at all in the original? There were absolutely zero unlockable anything in the original Gears, and we still enjoyed it. There were no unlockable characters, there were no unlockable weapon skins, there was- n the only thing you can unlock is insane. That's it. So if you're gonna say there was always unlocks in every Gears War game, you're fucking wrong. Unlockable rewards didn't really happen until what? I think Gears 2? And you're seriously gonna tell me that just because of packs, you're not gonna play a game at all. Full on character and weapon unlocks did not start at all until I think Gears 3 with the medals. The moment you got a certain medal, you got a certain character. Okay, gold with reindeer looks so stupid. And why the fuck am I the leader? And the Gears of War 1 remake had unlocks every, what, five, ten levels, I think? I can't remember. Yes, I understand. Gears 4, all the unlocks are behind a paywall. I mean, you can buy them with in-game gold. And yes, it can take a decent amount of time to do. But there are so many fucking characters you can play as already out of the box. That for the most part, it shouldn't really matter at all. It shouldn't matter if you have this character or that. The game plays the same regardless. And to everybody that wants to say that everything's locked behind a paywall, no, it's not. You can buy all the shit with in-game gold and with money. If you're seriously gonna let weapon loot crates affect your gameplay and make you stop playing not only a game, but an entire console, rethink your gaming life, please. If you're gonna let supply crates affect your Xbox gameplay, go to PC. They don't have any loot crates. Oh wait, they do. As for me, honestly, I'm not gonna let this affect my game at all. This game is absolutely amazing and I'm not gonna let anything affect how I feel about it. I love the Gears of War games a lot. The whole fact that these things can piss people off to the point where they're done with an Xbox is just stupid. I mean, hell, for all you know, they probably would have put all these supply drops in the original as well. Think about that. When did the Gears community actually decide that camos and weapon skins and characters are more important than gameplay? Now, with all that ranting aside, I decided to treat myself to a little Christmas present just to myself. Decided to go out the other day, buy myself the new Metallica album as well as the entirety of the Star Wars collection. I figured it was kind of needed with Christmas being what? couple days away? Actually, I think more like one. I, mean, I can get past all of the edits that are in this, but it's Star Wars. I'm happy. I like it. And I know for a fact I'm going to trigger a lot of Star Wars fans, but honestly, I enjoyed the original prequel trilogy. It's not really that bad. I mean, the only thing really bad about it is Jar Jar for the most part, but other than that, it's decent. It doesn't hold a candle to the original trilogy, but it's still decent. And Metallica album, it's fucking Metallica. I've loved Metallica for years, and as soon as I heard that they're coming out with a new album, which I have right here, I wanted it. I needed it in my life. Nothing screams Christmas more than Metallica. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, rant included. It was just something that I needed to get off my chest after seeing this constantly. Please don't tell me there's a sniper guy just waiting to pop the head off of anybody who picks up this torque. Yay. Fuck! But leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, there's gonna be a Gears of War code somewhere on this video. And I will see you guys later.